all right so uh, previously i have talked about like different scientific applications that we can do using the smartphones right like using the ambient light sensor as a photo detector to design a photometer using the phone camera to design a colorimeter or like using the simple like uh, microphone to use it for different biomedical or healthcare application like urophilometry right there are thousands of applications just you have to dig around so now uh, in part two like in this video i'm going to talk about how we can set up the simulink environment for like android application development in our pc so uh, so what we need is like first before before we can do anything with the simulink or matlab first we need to set up the traditional way of doing the like android development uh, sorry uh, by creating the like android development platform so where uh, we need to install some kind of java development kit jdk and then we have to set up the like we have to download and ins install the android studio so i think you will find hundred thousands of videos in youtube which like talks about this first first part so uh so i will provide uh, i have provided the link for some of the good videos by which you can use uh, you can see that tutorials to set up the like java and like android studio so uh, after i already have installed java and android studio so if you just select your c drive uh, your C drive as a default plot, uh, sorry, default drive to install Android Studio and Java, then you will find these files. Like you will create the Android uh, folder, and for Java, you will get the like Java JDK, right? So that's fine. So after that, we have to, we have now have to install. Uh, I suppose, I, I suppose that you have already installed Simulink and uh, MATLAB and Simulink, right? so uh, i will show you like if you uh, do not have simulink matlab then i think you just go to their website and just download it if, if it is uh, allowed to do so by your uh, institute or i think uh, you will get it some trial version if you're a student so uh, so we have to plug in the like uh, we have to install another package called simulink support package for android development or android devices so I'll show you where you can get it. So you just need to search like Simulink support packet for Android devices in Google. Then this is a link for documentation. So uh, this documentation will guide you exactly like uh, I think if you go to the like PDF file that is for better than like this one. So just download the PDF file and uh, whatever like uh, whatever the way i'm going to like discuss about how to like set up the environment and everything i just got everything like i, I got the first idea of after reading this uh, document so that is why like i am highly suggesting you that you just go through uh, this document and we will get like all the other information like what are the blocks that we are going to use how to set up the uh, android studio to import your file to Android environment and design the apps and its configurations. So, uh, so before you start, I think you if you go to go to this uh, the documentation, like uh, that will be like uh, far better than start with like just starting with a model. So, uh, yeah. So I think you you guys you already have like MATLAB installed in your like computer. So I'm using MATLAB uh, like 2020 version like version A. So when we go to uh, MATLAB, then now here we have to install the uh, the support package file for Android app development. So when you go to the like add-ons, then you can search just like Android. Then you can see uh, this is the like simulating support package for Android devices. Now you can see there are only like 101 downloads. It is like uh, not not many people are using it actually, and uh, you will see like lot of queries and lot of queries and questions that like people are raising. Yeah. 
whatever problems they are facing so i also have faced many problems while using it but uh, i think I, i have solved most of the issues by myself so if you have any problem i think i can help you out if you want if you want to try to use it so uh, when you try to uh, install uh, i think i can show you i already have installed but i'll show you some with some another package so when you suppose uh, suppose this is some kind of like uh, package you just need oh I, i already have this one suppose this one so then you have to like uh, oh yeah it will pop up some kind of like uh, license agreement you have to like uh, select and like then just have to like install it so i don't have to do that because i already have installed the simlink support package now i have to show you how we can like how we can uh go to the settings and set up my like phone to do all the processing now you have to go to like manage then after going to manage these are the all the packages that i am using in my like matlab and simlink environment so so we just need like simlink support packages for android devices which i have already installed so now you have to go to setup then uh, it will open the uh, now it will open the like what is called window through which we can do the we can we can set up our and uh, sorry a uh, phone with a simlink so yeah see so uh, when we start so first it will show you the install android studio so so we already have installed android studio so it is on the c drive right so we have to verify the installation yes it is there so it is verified next uh, it will verify the sdk is like that we have that that will going to install along with the like android studio so we already have that So now it will tell you like uh, go to your settings and going to bill number. So I think I will show you this with my like with my phone, phone with my phone actually. Okay. Now in the next. yeah so what you will do so my phone is uh, uh, redmi right so what it will do so i have a different device so i already have downloaded the i already have downloaded the uh, drivers needed in my computer so you just click i mean install the appropriate android drivers to this computer and then next now uh when you click next uh, it will show you this window this uh, window in your phone and you just have to click okay on there so as i have shown you so when i click refresh then it will show it will show the uh, the phone that i am using and it's like uh, version so i am using uh, redmi note 7 pro from xiaomi so when i click next then what it will do so my phone should be uh, in a my phone should be in a wifi network which you can create you, with your like uh, laptop uh, portable hotspot or like you just need to have some wifi connection in your phone so when we click next so what what uh, this window will do it will build one phone application and then it will run on our phone then it will verify that my phone is configured to like uh, to uh, install phone apps from or like communicate with the 
or it's called simulating interface to like develop the phone applications. So we have to click the install test app. So it is building the app. It will, it will take some time. It may be depend on the like uh, phone processor or the RAM that you have. So I just have uh, 8 GB RAM and uh, it is Intel i5. It should work, but Simulink is it is a very powerful, even MATLAB, like MATLAB or Simulink. I have lots of packages. That is why like it looks like uh, there's some kind of laggy. But uh, if you have a good computer or laptop, I think that is very beneficial for you. So all right, uh, so it will automatically install the like phone app as you can see uh, in your phone. It is uh, installed through USB, so you have to connect your phone with the USB, right? Uh, I told you earlier. Then you have to allow like the phone can take pictures or video and just allow it, and it is installed. Okay, so I think by this way your phone is now configured like totally to work with the Simulink. So all right. So uh, after that, uh, you can see the this green ticked. So it is done. So you just need to click the verify installation. So it will check it uh, like uh, the installation is done successfully or not. So I think it is done. Okay, then you have to click next. Okay. So I think you are done.